In this video I will show you all my fully optimized settings after 6k hours of ASA. So you can make your game look like this. I will show you all of my in-game settings and Nvidia game filters and INIs. So we're gonna start off with the Nvidia game filters. So the first thing you need is the Nvidia app because the game filters are in there. And I think you also need an NVIDIA graphics card on your PC, or this might not work. Then, with Alt-Z, you can open this menu. Then you go to Game Filters. Here you can see the difference again between Game Filters here and Non-Game Filters here. And you're just gonna add Sharpen. Put the intensity on max, just leave this normal. You're gonna add brightness and contrast. And you can just copy these settings here. And you add color. And you can just copy these settings here. And then your game looks like this. You can also just play around with these settings to your liking, whatever you want. So we are now in single player without commands. This is without an INI. eye. Now let's put this INI eye in. Where you get this INI is on my market, on the takeover market. Just join, link below in the description. And there you have all the INIs I ever use and some command meanings. So use the bottom normal INI and as you can see it makes your game look really clean. It makes like the floor look flush and also it's a really good INI for caves. You, you see all the colors on dinos on caves pretty much perfectly. And whenever you're PvPing outside then you might want to go with a black sky INI because this will make like tech suitors be really visible in the air. You will just see everything in the air. But in caves it's, it's like really grey. So this INI is really trash in caves. But outside the cave, this is in my opinion the best INI for visibility. Just see everything in the sky really easily and also everything on the ground pretty easily and the trees look nice and everything so this is easy underwater without an eye and eye this is just default how the easy underwater looks but now with the normal color eye and eye it looks like this really colorful you also see like the the dino colors way better and overall, I just really prefer this INI to anything else. The thing is, it makes caves look like really good inside, which is pretty rare for INIs or even for the default game. It makes caves look way better than the default game. So that's why this is the best INI. You may ask, why the fuck do I need a colorful INI for? Of course. So you can look at the full blue dinos that we sell on our takeover market. We sell all kinds of colors and perfect set dinos. Here you can see the overall list. And then every single tame here also. So for example if you're looking for megalodons, clean ones. We got you. We sell full blue capped HP megalodons for example. If you're looking for anything we probably have it. And we're also selling for in-game, for ADV, for Paypal or even for other lines that we don't have. For example, we don't have the new Dreadnought line with capped HP. So make sure to hook us up and we will trade it for another line, I guess. So let's go over my in-game settings. So I just have all audio on zero, except this one. And if I want to hear something, then I'm going to put the audio up. But normally I just 
say without audio in my bass. Now the video settings. This is my resolution. I play Windows full screen because I love going like to to my second monitor without like lagging or something with full screen. I don't like it, bro. And then I kept my FPS at 240. I use DLSS. Here I use quality. If your PC is trash, use performance. It will make your game a li little bit more blurry, but it's worth it. It will give you more FPS. If you go ultra performance, your game just is super blurry. Like you do just don't see shit anymore. I don't recommend it. And quality if if you don't really miss the FPS, it will make your game look nicer. I also use DLSS here off. Now graphics. Just everything low. Off 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 off. And off 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 off. And that's about it for graphics. So let's go over UI. I have my hotbar a little bit bigger. So I can see it. What exactly I am on and everything. Then I have crosshair size. 0.75. Crosshair opacity 0. That way I don't actually have a crosshair. But the hit markers are going to be big. And I like big hit markers. It looks really nice and then I just use my own crosshair. And then I have big normal hit markers and a small crosshair this way. And my crosshair that I use is from Crosshair X. I don't use the Indian crosshair most of the time. Look how big the hit markers are. If you want to use your in-game crosshair, you can put the opacity higher. Maybe put your size down, I guess. But I do like big hit markers. Really looks a little nice. Then you can copy all these other settings. Also no tooltip delay. It's like when you're looking on an item in your inventory, it just pops open like the description instantly or when you're going over a cryopod. You don't have to wait a bit, but it just pops open the description instantly. It's good to look over many cryotames and then you will see like exactly really fast what tame, like what stats has and what colors and everything. You can try this on, it might annoy you if you're not used to it. So this is no tooltip delay off. And this is no tooltip delay on. Then disable menu transitions, also really important to have it on. So this will make your inventory pop out like instantly. If you open your inventory, it will just pop out instantly and it won't have a delay or like a transition. This is really good. And also it will make it so that if you drop an item, if you have this off, if you drop an if you drop all in your inventory, then it will ask you, are you sure to drop all? But with this on, you just won't get that extra step, which is really annoying. So you can just instantly drop all and it will instantly drop all. So this is disable menu transitions off. And this is with disable menu transitions on. It's like really snappy. And here toggle extended HUD info. You have to have this on. So you can press H and then you have it on all the time. You can just toggle it with H instead of holding H. It's really important for soaking to see if your character is getting damage or not. 
on certain angles. So this is toggle extended HUD info on. So what that basically is, you can turn the extended HUD on and off with just H. And as you can see, it gives you like numbers on your HP. And it also gives you arrows on top of your tame. So a green arrow means it's in your dino group. So you can whistle it and yeah, that's about it. And then you put it on ignore group whistles. It has a yellow arrow. So you can copy these other settings as well. Hide enemy structure cosmetics. I feel like that's really good to have it on all. So now the camera settings. These are my settings. The FOV, I will show you in a bit how to do it. Because you have to go in the game files to go over 100. And I feel like mouse smoothing, you 100% want to have it off. Because if you have it on, it adds like a delay, it just feels so shit. So this is kind of a newer setting in some update. But make sure to have it off. It will make your aim more precise and it will I feel like it will give you less input lag. Now I'm gonna show you how to do 140 FOV. So what you do is you go to Arc Ascendant, Properties, Installed Files, Browse, you go to Shooter Game, Saved config windows and then you make sure game user settings and i go to properties make sure Bleh. here make sure it's not on read only the game user settings i and i then you go into that page And then I go to edit and find find FOV FOV multiplier. Normally there's 1.25 and the zeros, and you change the two to a four, like I have, and this will give you 140 FOV. And then you do file, and then you press save. So we are already here on Steam, so I'm gonna show you my Steam launch options real quick. So you go to Arc Ascended, Properties, and here these are my launch options. I'm gonna put them like in a comment below or like in the description something. Just put it in here and close it and you're finished. So with these camera settings, your character will be a little bit more zoomed out because of the increased FOV. And also your character will be in the middle. Some people also prefer to have this on. This third person camera offset. So if you have this, your character is always like on the side. But I don't really prefer it too much. So we are here on the advanced settings. You can just copy them if you want to. Disable menu music is a big one. Nobody likes this. I guess put this on zero. I'm not sure if it even does something. And here this one is a really big one. You have to put voice chat channel on no one. Because if you have this on, then a, a bot can track you on what servers you were for how many hours. And you don't want a bot to track you down. Or if you grief someone, you don't want them to be able to track you down of what server you came from. And how many hours you have on what server. And if you have this on no one, you, you just can't be found by the bot, basically. <clears throat> Blood visuals, make sure to have that on. If you have it off, you don't see your tames getting low anymore. So you have to have this on. 
give default survivor items off. You don't want a bunch of bullshit in your inventories when you're spawning. Disable cosmetics dynamic downloading. I have this on. I don't want the game to install random mods on my PC or on my game. I want to see only the mods that I want to see. And here are my keybinds. My keybinds are for the most part default, but I have like on items, item slot like 9 and 10, my mouse button. Then, also this one is really important to keybind. Add, remove, order tame. This will add or remove a tame in your dino group just by looking at it. So you look at the dino, you press Z, and it will add it to your dino group that you're in right now. And if you want to remove it from the dino group, you press Z again and it's removed. And this is really good. So the way this works is you, you go into a dino group where some random shit is in. And then you can just look at the dino and press Z. And now it's in my dino group. Now I can whistle it. I can make it stop. Now if I press Z on it again, it just it's not anymore in my dino group. So I can just toggle it with Z if I can whistle it or not. Same with, the car, with some other dino, some other random dino that you own. Now I can whistle it. Now I put it out of my group, now I can't whistle it anymore. 